So this came up in conversation with the, uh, she's not exactly the mother-in-law, I'm just going to call her that. So a couple years ago, Ben was offered the opportunity to go on Dr. Phil. Now why wouldn't he do that? If he's such a good, loving guy and great family guy, why would he refuse to do that? It's an interesting prospect. And I spoke to the producers at Dr. Phil this morning, and they are plenty, plenty happy to have Ben on right now. Because of the Dr. Phil thing, I went ahead and had our team psychologist do a, uh, an assessment using the uh, hair psychopathy test on Ben. He has seen Ben's videos and has looked at the interviews. And uh, basically, according to that test, his scores place him in the uh, uh, psychopath category. You can pause this video and look at the uh, email there and the scores that uh, he came up with. And here we have an email from uh, uh, the sister talking about the GoFundMe that Ben created for his money for his mother, and uh, uh, he took the money. That's what they're saying, that he took the money. And you can pause again and read this email. Now, I remember when Ben uh, uh, produced that video asking people to donate to that GoFundMe, and it was for it's supposed to be for his mother. I'm sure he can show us receipts on how everything was spent and disprove that, 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 that he took all the money from the GoFundMe. And I'm sure he can come up with a reason why he took his sisters off the life insurance policy and named himself as the sole beneficiary to his father's uh, uh, life insurance. And I'm sure he can also come up with an uh, explanation for the Social Security checks, etc., so forth. And predictably, when Ben gets upset with women in his life, he starts to make threats. Starts to threaten them, and that's what we have here. He's on Facebook threatening the sisters and, the, and, and his mother and everybody else, just like he, you would expect that he would do, because that's the kind of guy he is. Mr. Family Man, Mr. Nice Guy. And here's Mr. Nice Guy over on Discord using a fake name, talking about the mom and how her ex-husband killed himself and it had, has given her mental issues. What he's not telling everybody, as usual, is that they had been divorced for quite some time and she had re the, the, the mom has remarried and this has nothing to do with anything other than him trying to deflect and make everybody out to be the wrong and bad person except him. He's always the victim. It's always poor little me the victim. And here he is so desperate for money that he is selling gifts that, that Shay bought for him. This is a drone that he's put up for sale trying to get rid of so he can put some money in his pocket so he can go chase after uh, his Burger King woman. Yes, his little 18-year-old that he's chasing after. Mentoring is what he says he's doing. Mentoring. <laughs> I think the, other, the, the appropriate name for it is grooming. Grooming. So Ben has resorted to telling everybody that I'm a liar. He's going around saying that, that all of this is my lies. Unfortunately, what he's not pointing out is the, the actual truth of the matter is, this is his family. This isn't me talking. This is his family. They reached out to me because they wanted people to know the truth. This is his mother. This is his uncle. This is his sister. This is his aunt. This is his, for lack of a better term, in-laws. These are people that have dealt with him over the years and know what he is truly, truly like. And this isn't something from 20 years ago or 30 years ago. This is from the last couple years and, and more recent than that in many instances. And that's unfortunate. In the course of doing this, I have spoken to many, many people about Ben and his, his proclivities for violence against women and things of this sort. And I have a message for Shannon from uh, somebody that I interviewed and talked to. Carl says, call him. Carl says, you don't have to put up with this. You don't have to live this way. 
you can have somebody productive and, and somebody that cares genuinely about you that won't run around behind your back and bring women home and try to get you to do kinky things and, and, and make you wear strap-ons if, if that's actually true, you know, whatever. I don't care. But Carl says, call him. And we all know that Ben's going to throw a fit about that and make threats to you and stuff. Stop being afraid. Stand up. Carl will protect you. And if need be, I'll come from Texas to protect you. Just all you got to do is say help. Call your mom.